Hey guys, it's Spike Torture Fan here, and today we're here to show you the new Bendy and the Dark Revival toys. So yeah, as you can see, this is the new Bendy ser Series 3 of the series. As you know, we collected Series 1 through th through 2 last time, but now we have Series 3 here. This is the newest in the collection. Now, I don't have the yellow Sammy Lawrence from Series 3, but they did remake a Series 1 timeline, which really confuses me, but I I really don't know if it is a Series 1 or not, but it confused the heck out of me, but I will try to get Sammy for Series 3 to go with this as soon as I can find him. But as you can see, we have here is the new Bendy from the Dark Revival series. Uh, he's got a little bit of ink on his face there, and he's got a, holding a Bendy cutout that's also the same color as him in the tan or senpai tone or whatever you want to call it uh, version. Uh, and he comes with a little statue of Bendy. It's hard to see, but he's actually like grinning with his finger sticking up. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I can get a, it to focus on it. Probably not, but you can kind of see it. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and I like the striped pants as well, which is really nice. And he's got a brown uh, vest on as well, all the way around him. And he's got his regular arms. And also his gloves. I don't know if you noticed this. But his gloves has also ink on them. Which is pretty cool. I don't know anything about if this Bendy will be showing up in the new game or anything. Or if it's just because, you know, Bendy likes... They like putting Bendy in different outfits. Who knows? It didn't say anything of what kind of... It just said on the box he was still Bendy. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting to see... Next we have Audrey, which is was a new the newest character first introduced into the Dark Revival series that we're going to be seeing. And of course she comes with her it looks like a gin pipe, but it looks like it's got some electronic box connected to it. And then she's also got a like a bottle that looks like a bendy head with a kinda like similar to a skull and cross hole. Like, but it has an X under the bendy head, so, yeah, I'm not sure what this is going to be, if it's just, like, ink to help her revive herself or what. There's a lot of cool details on this, on this figure as well, because I don't know if you can see this, it's probably hard to, let me get in the light, but she actually has, her hand has the little swirls on it, which is pretty cool, like we've seen in the trailer. And, of course, this is the newest version of Ink Bendy, which I think is improved heavenly amazing as well. Uh, he also comes with this gent pipe, as you can see. It's kind of hard for it to focus. But it says gent on the company. It's kind of hard because my camera can't focus on it, sadly. But it does say gent. There you go, see? It says gent on it. And it, of course it does kind of fit in his hand. I don't know. I got the inkwell. I think this is the new updated inkwell jar. Like, you know how they used to do these in series 1 and 2. Like that, just recolored. Now they made it completely a different design. So it looks really nice. And I'm loving the detail on this bendy. I'm loving they gave it a one glove hand instead of a... Uh, just two gloves like the original and I'm loving that he's all tan like in the game anyway uh, that was an, one of the issues I thought was kind of strange about Infinity being all black white in the original one back there as you can see so yeah and this Bendy also has freaking um, amazing uh, I don't know if you can see it but he's got kind of like a spiny kind of back to him so yeah it's pretty cool oh well Ink Bendy's already causing trouble. So yeah, pretty awesome figure. I'm loving the detail of this Bendy. I love the grin. I don't know if you can see that. But it's really crazy. And he's also got ink on his glove too, which is super awesome to see him like that in action. So yeah, I can't wait to see what we have to do with him in the new game when it comes out. We don't know when yet, but this is all we got, as you can see. 
uh, until, and like I said, I'm going to put that statue right down there. See if I can get this guy to focus. No. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the new B Dark Revival toys. Uh, I'll keep you updated when I can get Sammy and show you my collection. But yeah, there's the rest of Series 1 and 2 all combined so far. So yeah, the only one I don't have open is, of course, Dead Boris, and I refused to because I couldn't find a second copy, sadly. So yeah, there is a Dead Boris out there, so if you do know where he is, he's pretty rare, I think. So I would definitely try to look for them if you do find them. And of course, they also did a redo series where you can actually get all the same characters from uh, series 1 and 2 of the original series, but all in this colored form. So that's kind of interesting to see. Uh, I've already got the Sammy of that series, and I've already got the Dead Boris, and I already got the new ink, the old ink bendy in that colored, so I'm pretty much just going to keep them in the boxes since they're the same as the series 1 and 2, so there's no point to really talk much about them other than the colors difference. So yeah, this is my review on the Dark Revival toys, and we'll see you in another video. Have a great day. And, yeah. Bye-bye.